What's up guys, welcome back to another PC Better video. So last week AMD released the Radeon 7 graphics card. I ended up waking up late that day and I wasn't able to get one. Um, I put in a pre-order through Amazon and it didn't have a delivery date. So I happened to check Micro Center, which I do every day because I usually check to see, um, they usually have good deals on open box SSDs. People just return them a couple days after buying them. And I just happened to type in Radeon 7 on Sunday. I wasn't expecting to find any. I just, just checked when I woke up and they had four. So I rushed over there, picked this bad boy up and I'm pretty excited to um, take a look and see what it can do. Um, I've already seen what it does online. So it's some people like it, some people don't. It's, you know, each person has their own opinion. Um, I did buy this for a permanent reason. It's gonna go in the ITX build with the 2700X. But anyhow, let's uh, open this up and take a look at the edit. I'm trying to do this in one take, so no editing. It's now Wednesday, this came out Thursday, so I am a week behind. So I'm trying to not waste any time and get this done. Right off the bat, I will be quite honest. I'm pretty disappointed in the way they package these for a $700 GPU. Um, I don't, motherboards are packaged better than this and those cost a hundred bucks so just pretty disappointed some people will say it's not about the packaging it's not the point it's just about you know you buy a 2060 you buy a titan rtx they all come in the same package it's not that important but that's just my first observation um and here it is which i'm sure plenty of you guys have already seen Second observation, these stickers, I mean, come on. That's people putting these in builds that they spend a lot of time maybe uh, doing some custom cooling for the CPU, obviously not the GPU if you're leaving this in there. That looks pretty cheesy, you know, the fact that it's green. So the first thing I'm gonna do, to be honest with you, when this goes in its permanent home is take a heat gun to this and, and remove that. I, I don't like that at all. Um, the card itself, I think, looks great. It's built a lot better than the previous. I have a 590 back there that I was supposed to be reviewing. Um, and that's just, it feels flimsy. This feels feels good. It feels heavy in your hand. It feels solid. Uh, other thing of note, a lot of people were questioning if this is an aluminum. This is fully aluminum. But I can say, I've, I've heard people say that the fan is loud. And I don't know because I haven't installed it yet, so I don't want to make judgment. But if I were to guess and and to, as to why the fan's loud, there's too much of a gap between the fan blade and this shroud. And not only that, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's no lip. It's just a it's just like one piece of aluminum. And if you notice on even the 590 and the 2060, there's a little lip that goes down. Which, if this is loud. The, the fan being too short and there being that space and not a lip there to create like a, a vacuum, I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming that's why it's loud, if it is loud. We'll find out when, when I install it. Um, also the rest of these stickers, oh, those well, stickers are in the back. I don't have to remove those. But yeah, definitely remove these stickers. Other than that, there's three display ports, one HDMI. I'm sure you guys know the specs. It's uh, 16 gigabytes of HBM2 which all of a sudden now, you know, people need for gaming. I, I don't get it. Um, 11 gigabytes is more than enough, to be honest. But, I mean, that's great for content creators. Uh, I'm excited to see what this thing can do in Premiere. Uh, it won't be my workstation build. It's going to be in a second PC, um, actually a third PC. So I won't be using it all the time, but I have it, and I'll, and I'll be... Um, Testing it right away. I'll be throwing it in the test bench. And I'll sh show you guys here what's going on, and why I'm so behind in work. So eventually, that Radeon Seven is going to be going in this build here, and that 2080 Ti is coming out um, and going in the Thanos 2.0 build, which is the video that I work on next. So this is my test bench. I'm currently testing the Titan XPs, which I've had for 
since April 2017, and yeah, I'm testing them now. But I want to get a, a good database for all of my games. Oh, actually, I got a few unboxings I got to do too, so just a little bit behind in work. Um, let me get back over here. Yeah, so I want to get a good database going for the website, so that way... Um, Obviously, there's a lot of websites that I check out to do comparisons that I get. I take a look at to see comparisons between GPUs, but the whole purpose of this channel and the website is to do my own testing because sometimes I find there's a lot of bias in this industry where people get things for free and they favor one company or another, and that is something I will never do, to be honest. Everything I've... I have and I'm testing, I'm paying for, so I have no reason to um, pick sides or favor something. If I genuinely like something better than something something else, then I'll say it. But other than that, um, I'm gonna keep it as, honestly, I'm gonna keep it real. So I'm not gonna bullshit anybody and I'm not gonna waste anybody's time because if anything, I'm wasting my own time by doing this. So there it is, the Radeon 7 GPU by AMD. Hope you guys stick around. I will have benchmarks soon. I'm gonna pop this in right away. I do have a 2060 behind the camera that I haven't even got to. Um, but it's a lot more work than I thought this was gonna be. So bear with me as I get things rolling, hopefully a little bit faster. So until next time, peace.